Now once I've created my handle composite, in other words the blended handle into the uh, converted clay area, I want to create this curve framework that's going to be the boundary for my patches or my surfaces uh, that I'm going to lay over and fit to the clay. So you can see I've got an edge at the top, I've got boundaries down around these areas, these areas will become textured polygon areas, and then you can see there's a center line on the model that runs around the entire piece. So to, to be able to quickly create these, what I did is I, uh, let me delete these, I used my original sheet body and I did copy edge, I just selected this edge here, copied it, that gave me that edge around there. I also used the intersection on the mirror plane, intersection on the mirror plane to create the center line around the body. which gave me the center line. And then for these handle cutouts, the areas on the handle, I used the same plane that I had done uh, originally to do the actual cutouts. I went and got the curves. And using the uh, sketch tools, I took the curves that I used to cut them out and offset them out as a way to create curves I could project on the surface to be the boundaries of the handles. So I laid my curves out like that, and then I cut and edited the curves together. You know, I, I aligned this curve here, and this is important. I, I just touched that to the center line, picked the tangent handle, notice that we've added ways to align these tangents. I said align to the center line so I can make sure that my uh, line uh, lined up across like that. And then I also broke it there. I said, uh, let's disconnect that. So I said, disconnect this line at this. So I just broke the curve there. I'll do the same thing at the bottom here. I'll line the bottom curve up as well. Again, take the curve, drag it so that it touches the curve, align its tangent, say line to the center line. So it goes directly across the center line. And then I broke the curve right on the T connection there. And then I deleted this inside curve here because I didn't need that anymore. So you can see I've just outlined the handle and I've created a way that uh, I can make a boundary for my patch that goes around the area that's going to become polygons. The next thing I need to do is I want to make the curves that are the boundaries for the patches that come down the handle, I want to have those fit to clay. Uh, the curves that uh, go along the edge of the sheet body I do not want to fit to clay because I want them to align with the edge of the sheet body they were copied from. But these edges that go down around uh, the polygon area cutouts are the areas that, that are going to become textured polygons. I want to have them fit to clay and I want to have them more relaxed than they are than when I project them on from the sketch plane. And let me step back to that one and show you what they're like when they're projected from the sketch plane. At the moment, you know, after I've worked on them, they're fairly simple curves. They're fit with a certain number of control points and they've got a certain number of edit points. But let me step back and show you what they're like when they're first fit are first projected from the sketch plane. So these are the curves as they are just projected from the sketch plane. If I click on one of these, you can see it's got 47 points and it's not fit to clay yet. Now this is a particular workflow that gives you the best results. What you want is a curve that maintains the shape of the original curve yet has less added points and is fit to clay. My method for doing this is repeatable, works in a large amount of cases, and gives you a clay or a curve that's fit to clay with not with probably half the number of edit points, yet still retains the shape. So what I want to do first is I'm just going to tell that curve to be fit to clay. I've got it set on 10 control points, but remember there's 47 edit points there, and I'm telling it 10 fit points. So what it's going to try and do, it's going to try not to break the rule of having less fit points than edit points. So when I click on this curve and say fit, and I'll click on this one and say fit, while it was trying to do 10 fit points, it really did 42. It's going to try and do near the number of edit points, so it doesn't break the rule of less fit points than edit points, which give you very strange results. Always have more fit points than edit points. It's how the software works. So in this case, now I've got 42 fit points. I can go and I can reduce my edit points down to 24. And here I've got a curve that's a lot simpler, still fit to the same shape, 
but has many less edit points. It's going to have a lot lighter patches made with it. Uh, remember, I have to use the same curve to be able to build my patches off it. It's going to give me simpler patches off the edges, edges of it, and it's going to be a more easily to control curve. I'll do the same thing with this. I fit that one to 10 points. Again, it said uh, it's got 37 edit points, so it's going to try and do near that number of fit points. Now that I've fit it, I can turn my number of edit points down to probably half that, like 17. And again, I've got a lighter curve. It's still fit to clay. It's got less edit points. It's going to be less noisy. The patches built off of it will be simpler.